Hello everyone, this is Lumi, I'm your guide on this 100% walkthrough of The Witness and we are right here in front of the castle area. So let's just walk right in and keep solving all of these mysteries. Uh, there is a front part which is fairly easy and uh, Another one that uh, requires more knowledge, let's just say. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, just wanted to check something. And, well, first of all, as you can see, there's a maze uh, with some doors, and we know we can't really pass through every path, but there is one path that we can go through. And then we hit the door with the exact same maze we were in, but if you remember the path you took in the maze it'll be a path that will work, I mean if you try something else it won't let you, you need to do a path that was the path you took in the maze now the same will happen for the next maze well if we enter this we see that uh, the maze is much op more open so, technically, I mean, considering the path we took, it should work like this, but no, it doesn't. And if you're more observant, as this game always requests from you, you'll see that there is some grass on the floor, like some obstruction, so it, this is kind of a path we cannot take. So, but we can go right here, and then left, then we go right again, but... Now uh, then we are stuck, so now we have to go back and well we came from there and if we go further right and down here then we can go almost all the way up and have just to do a little left so that we don't hit any of this grayish dried out grass. Now this would be mean that we came here, right, and then continued down like so and this is the path basically that we did get through the maze. Now this one is even trickier for the unaware if uh, because everything is stone you're looking for the grass and there's no real indication visually of uh, which path you should take and my, there's my hint already it's the visually but I just wanted to show you something here like a bucket that looks like some kind of uh, human shape and well, the view that we have outside of the castle there's no environmental puzzle we can do from here but I just wanted also to show you the upper part of what we saw downstairs is to be the woman's shadow you can see some part of it anyway going back to our puzzle enough teas now maybe you've figured it out it's about the sound so when you hear a crunchy stone that's basically where the path is blocked to you. So you will have to do the path without that crunchy sound. Did you hear it? There's a crunchy sound, so we cannot go there. So if you go here, ah, crunchy sound. So it doesn't work. But here we can go and let's uh, go. Oh, crunchy sound. So we need to keep going. Let's say here we can. Oh, crunchy sound again. So we can go here, no crunchy sound, so this is good. And then basically you just have to reproduce the path you did. And once more it's just remembering what you, which way you went. If, if you don't remember, just write this down and or on a, make a print screen, go and paint and start painting on it. That's how you do it. Now, this one also has a hidden secret like that like that and uh, I was trying to remember what it was because if you listen there is no noise really but and if you look at the ground is there some visual mark is, is there something that we can or C. Now, not really. 
we have shades, we have something that looks like they are um, having squared edges, there is a rounded edge here, but really there is no way of telling us this, except that if we look at the maze, then the maze, I mean the, the maze and the, the maze on the panel, the maze on the panel actually doesn't match the maze on the floor, the one we are going through. So we need to find a maze that actually matches, or a path that matches uh, both mazes, where we can go through both of them. So here basically we can only go right, but can we keep going right or do we have to go front? If we look at it, this path here is obstructed in the panel maze, so we can only go here. And we can go right, we can go straight as well, and we can go then uh, left, or can we not? Yes, we can, but then we cannot go forward still, and we cannot keep on going left as well. So we basically are forced to go right here, then we go straight, we can go left, and then we can go all the way straight. If you doubt me, just check it out and, and you'll see that this is the only path that matches both of them. Now, okay, we've finished this, these four mazes, these four puzzles, and we reach this back area here that is locked off to us. There is uh, a room with nothing, at least not from here, and we could have also gone up there just to get some higher ground once more. Not much we can do, but we can go up the tower, the central tower. And once you reach the very top, you'll see that this puzzle is now activated. And it looks like, like the mazes we have down there. Now, I like to put it, put myself in a position like so. Like that I managed to get almost everything on the screen both this maze and the maze down there so that I can start from the center which is where we entered the castle and we came down here and you have to recreate on this big maze on the panel the path you took down there so either you wrote it down or you have good memory and you well for the very first part at least you can just copy it and, and see what you did for this one you need already to remember which was the path we took and the same goes for the next one and for the final one so here we are and this is basically the path that we took throughout the four mazes down there but while I'm here I want to put myself in this position notice this circle and then go all the way around through all of these mazes and finish here one of our environmentals and on the right side we have another one easy now the castle has still four more environmental puzzles the laser is coming up I like the fact that this one was upside down and it will turn around and then start shooting at the mountain and as you can see down here we cannot really start puzzles but we will be able once we have solved this area, which is uh, I believe called the pressure pr plates area. There is a sunken ship, which is another area we'll visit later. But right now, there's not much to do. We need to activate this panel, and for that, we need to go downstairs. These puzzles are all um, extra puzzles. They don't even unlock a laser. It's just uh, for a rank. I mean, adding puzzles to your count. Which, incidentally, if uh, you have wondered where you see the count, you just press a uh, escape and then uh, you load the game and you can see how many puzzles solved you are. Right now we are at 346, 89 secrets and one um, pillar completed. So, still some ways to go because there are 525, if I'm not mistake, mistaken, 
regular puzzles and then 135 secrets and six pillars. Now here is a maze for us it just looks very easy but the, there's no starting place it, it's locked off but what we can do is initiate or reset the puzzle. Now once more this is all about memory so we know the start is going to be here, there's a circle. It's basically a representation of what is on here. But we want to have an extra caution. It's because we want to draw later on the lines um, that the lines that are environmental. So from up the tower, we want to be able to draw the line. And if it is behind one of those walls, we won't be able to draw said line. And we need to reach the end, start here, and pass through these points. Now, the way we can do it is by going up here, but if you go up here then we'll be behind this wall which we don't want, so I'm going to go left and then go all the way up, catch this one, come back down, go down like so, and then go around and catch it, okay? So just about memories, you start at the circle, then you do the path that the line would do. You can step off and come back up. There is no issue with that, you just need to do a continuous line so that in the end everything works out. The reason I want to cut here and not after is so that we are in front of it. See, now we solved the puzzle um, and now we can go, well we could go back up and do this environmental one but uh, I'm not going to do it just yet because we're going to have to do it for four of them. Now, the thing is that with the next puzzles, we cannot necessarily, at least with the two last ones I believe, uh, we cannot do it so that we don't pass behind an obstacle that wouldn't be seen from up there. Um, because we need access from the opposite side to start it, kind of like create the line in two ways, you'll see what I mean later. Well, again we need to separate black from from uh, white so fairly simple but well not that not that much since the plate there is broken so we won't be able to go just straight up and do a straight line so we end up go we cannot pass here it's kind of like this was broken off you can see well not this one but the one behind the white so we would have maybe to go up here in case the black one and then go down like so and then back up like so. This would be, but there is also some wood there that doesn't allow us to pass so let's see how it turns out right? So I'm taking the whites that are there and I'm encasing them in the black. Now you see already I'm, I'm passing behind something that will make the line impossible to see. Likewise I'm passing through something that has some black as well so that will not be able, to, not allow us to draw a proper line, which will force us to rethink this line further on when we have access to come from this side by going around all the way around the other uh, four puzzles. Well, the other next two total totality of the four puzzles. Now this one requires us to do the puzzles on the Tetris. Now problem with this one is that we are not starting at the start which is there so it immediately forces us to start here. No matter what we do we will have a line down here so we either go one up as you can see you can always go back and check your progress if you are doing what you like your, or what you intend to do and I mean we could go up here and then close around but the that doesn't really work so the thing is that we have to go like such close this one in and then we have to go up and close the 4x1 so this is basically what we need to do so I'm gonna go to the start so that I'm sure I've taken it and it's a 3 with an, an uh, one up right this is our puzzle piece and then we go all the way here then I want to go here, but as you can see, I want to do my 4x1, but now I need to be careful not to step in anything else besides what I want to. I can step off, as I said, 
I'm gonna come here, just join the line, turn around, and close it up, and I'm done. But all of these would be, since Bryce is behind that wall, we wouldn't be able to see the environmental line from up there. So we will have to rethink them once we can come or enter the puzzle from here, you know, then we can redo it. Now, this one, it seems like it is pre pretty simple, but one thing you need to notice is that back there is another starting line. So as soon as you enter here, it eliminates down there as well. So it's a symmetric one, right? a puzzle that uses the symmetry and also the tetrominoes. And we need to make it so that they work. Now, again, these are exactly the same, so they could do a 2x6, no problem. They can be turned around because they are diagonal. So if we do the line just like so and go back out, it should work. Uh, here we go. Just go all the way here. And then out. Here we are. It's solved. But again, it's under this, so we cannot draw the environmental line. This one actually has two environmental lines that need to be drawn, if I'm not mistaken. Now, here is another of those loose panels that we need to solve. You know by now, two triangles equals two sides need to be covered with a line. Now, the way I want to do this now is open up this exit. And now we want to make sure that we reset our puzzles and we make our puzzles work. Well, actually, I am thinking that one of these lines might be, I mean, the left line might be okay, and then we need to change it so that the other one isn't. So let's go up and let's do the lines that we already can do. And um, after that, we go back down and we do the modifications. Besides, we also have this puzzle, puzzle that we need to finish, but mm, yeah, I can't draw this one either. Now, as you can see, I can't draw this one because there's a blockage here, I can't draw that one. And here, we can start here, but we can't draw it this far. So we're going to need to change the layout, start the line from this side so that somehow we are actually separating these how we want. Now, I thought I might have done this right, but yeah, I basically just needed to go actually around there once one extra, just to avoid this wall. So we know already the yellow one we can change quickly. And but the others are going to need some rethinking. Now, this is something that looks tough, but it's basically adding all of the lower puzzles together. So, we should have also their exits kind of going where, where they need to. So, I want to see, well, just. Let's hope we remember them. So we were going here. Now I should have done actually this with the other one. So that uh, it would work out nice. And we go so, like so. And then we actually come here. Uh, let's divide them like so. Do this one. Now there is a problem. We cannot just join it like that because we have that 4 by Mm -hmm. Now, if we do this like this, and then like so, then that won't work either, because we cannot close it up, but what we can do, I believe, no, we can't even add them, or can we? Uh, well, maybe if we do it this way, and then we separate the whites out, then we still cannot do this by separating the whites out. We need to separate actually the black ones out. So let's do this one again. And again, it doesn't, if I need to englobe this white one. I'm gonna have to think a bit more about this and I'll be back. So here we are finally with the solution. So you need to kind of uh, melt uh, 
the two sides together of the puzzle. So this is the solution that works because, well, you, as you can see, I'm separating all of them. But for these puzzles here, I kind of like joined the lines. It goes up and then comes back down. And then on the left side, I had to completely split these up like the 2x6 I had done, so I couldn't keep it like with that simple solution. I had to have them individually and stuck together. But this is a solution that works. This puzzle does not lock anything, it just counts up. Now, let's remember what uh, we were doing. We want to redo the yellow one with this opening. We want to redo the pink one, making it so that it doesn't pass in front of or behind neither this one, neither this one, neither the uh, black uh, part. Maybe not even here in the lower left corner. Yeah, because we can't even reach it. Now for this one, we don't want it to pass behind the debris nor behind the wall. And for these, I guess we'll have to do it twice because once it will work for this and the other one it won't work. So we'll have to switch it around so that they don't, they are not covered. Now this will be our goal. Well, maybe I'm actually just gonna go here. Maybe I start with the blue one, shall we? So I want the blue ones. Again, we remember we need to do these. So what if we would do something like so that would then go and finish itself up? Well, we need to restart it, of course. Don't worry, whatever progress you've done is, is done. It's accomplished. Now problem is that if we do so, see we are covering up our exits, so we cannot really start on this side. But we could start on the right side. Going here, going around, so it's, uh, if I remember correctly, three of length. That's right. And then we go back up and we are done. And this gives us at least one of the lines, one of the blue lines, so I'm going to go straight away for that one up for the others I'm going to go afterwards all together because uh, we don't have to change them again but this blue one we will have to change in order to have the second line be apparent as well complete. because this one is still not working out so we still need, we need to find some way to make this one go up and avoid completely this part and this part. So if we go down we might have get a better picture of it. Try to be as fast as possible sprinting down the stairs. Here we are. Now we need to avoid that particular second part here. So it cannot go through here. We can turn this around however we desire, but we need to make, I mean, it needs to be in there, it needs to work. So what if, uh, well, you remember also when we did that like so and we came back around, there was a problem with, oh, but wait. Because we had this before, but I couldn't get it from up there. But maybe I, I don't have to go as far up, do I? If I am here. Now I need to go up at least. Maybe from here if I can get it. Nope. See, it uh, doesn't allow me. So I need to go quite up high. But quite up high, as we have seen, will not let, not let me grab on to it, I mean, or at least continue. So, we need to go up here, but how do we, well, if we turn it like that, if we get up here and then back down, maybe we then can work it out, but if we go up here, then we'll have to go out. But, if we do it like so, then it should be fine. So, we start out here, we go right and then we go up. 
problem is we meet in the middle. That doesn't work either. See, because there is a collision and that will not be a valid puzzle. So... Even if we would go all the way around and then do like so, we cannot meet in the middle. There, there is a collision of the lines that is not permitted by the game. As you might be aware of. So... How can we do this? Make it work properly. Mm, if we, I'm I'm really just seeing those two solutions right now, and I'm wondering if the other one is not being. I mean, it's not away from all obstruction enough so that I can actually see it from up there. So I'm afraid that this one will, will not be okay. I'm going to go check it up one more time. But this is sometimes what uh, The Witness is all about. Trial and error. Figuring things out. What works, what doesn't. I wonder if no, I can't see it from here, so it does seem to be an issue. But maybe we can figure it out from up here. How, how would we do the line to make... We know that the symbols are here and there, and they are... Well, they are like with your right hand when you're looking at it. So, if we would do, do like so, you know, in the center we would hit them. But if we do it here, then it doesn't work either. What if... What if... We... What if we have them... Go up like so... You see, I mean, if they are all... If they are hitting each other through here... Yes, that's going, that's going to be the solution. I don't know if you've seen it, you just make them stand upright on their 2 by one side. And then that solves the solution. Now I don't know how, if it's possible for me to do it by foot, by going around. But I believe I can. So, here, and it's on its side. And then here they are meeting. And then I close it off, and then I just go back. I think this will prove to be alright. Now, as you, you saw, this particular puzzle has three different solutions. One of them is the easiest, the obvious one, and the two others were solutions that were forced on us so that we could actually do these environmentals. Here we are. I can have a proper look at what I did. And now let's tackle this one. And the other one, the pink one, at the end. Well, the green, the green one, we know we cannot go back here. But we know we have a long 4x1. And we have a 3 plus 1 edge. Now, we cannot really put the 4x1 on one end and then the 3 by two here, but what we can do is the same exact puzzle, but if we start on this side, we get to go left, go around the four by one, then we go down, go left one, go down, up again, and then finish the L kind of shape there, and we never cross on the other side. But this is only possible if you enter the puzzle from below, not from its original start. So we're going to have to reset and go all the way around and then do that puzzle. Now coming back up every single time actually uh, might seem tedious, but it really helps you visualize things, how, how you actually should solve that. I mean, from up here it was much more clearer than trying to do it from the ground. So if you're trying to do it yourself, do it just as I did, go up there and try to solve it. Now it is impossible to make the line in such a way that we could see it from up there while starting from the proper beginning as I already said. 
feel like I'm repeating myself and most likely I am. <laughs> but here we are, so if you didn't understand what I was talking about before, I'm going here and now again I need to pay attention to the fact that I cannot cross there, I need to use the planks in between. Now we have the 4x1 and I go down here, I'm, I'm creating the second shape and here it works. Now this one I know is alright so we could go back up and get it but I'm gonna go to the pink one now. Now the pink one we don't want it to cross the black area, we don't want any of those things. So we want still to separate the black and white and we know that that one is broken so there's simply no way for us to do so. Now we still, we still need to start and we cannot go behind this small pillar because that will mess things up so definitely this is something that we need. We also need to finish back here and we cannot pass be uh, behind this wall in this corner is something that we wouldn't be able to see and we cannot pass on the very upper black one so we cannot encase the black ones like that if we would like so we need to keep them out somehow so um, the way we are going to do this also we cannot walk underneath this or can we maybe difficultly but we cannot also not put it behind the debris because we will not be able to see it now there's a lot of con constraints right right here that uh, we need to to follow but if we would go up like so and maybe take on one black I mean we go here right to close the whites off only take one black we don't need to go further if we come like so we will be behind this pillar here that we can see if we go up to avoid it and we cannot come uh, back through the black mo uh, spot anyway I believe maybe behind the debris we can actually anyway we would go then back behind it and we would have to come back through the front of it go down like so and then encase the white ones I hope you understand what I mean I'm going to try and remember and do as I said so we would go here and we would close the whites off Try and stay away from the pillars, always far enough so that we can see. Now I need to go back and I also need to go behind it. But there is everything is open here so I cannot walk. So I'm going to have to go all the way around just like I did for the green puzzle. Did we fix the yellow yet? No, well, we'll have to do that as well. So just cannot forget. Now, uh, let's remember correctly what we intended to do. Oops. To go through the green area or turquoise. And now we get back here. And we need to meet these parts without forgetting what we were doing. Now, this should work. I am not a hundred percent sure about it but this should work so uh, this we need to repeat just slightly so that uh, we avoid that wall here on my left and go right here so that we can still get the puzzle done and here remember pass in front of the throne then you're safe. Now if everything is alright we should have now three different puzzles that we can our environmental puzzles that we can solve by just going up this tower. Now the yellow one is alright. Done. We had already the two blue ones, the green one we fixed, done. And the pink one is also done. Perfect. 
now, I just don't know how long the video has been, I should check it out, but I'm gonna risk it. Uh, let's uh, continue a little more. We are going to move towards the boat area in the back. This one has a lot, a lot of environmental secrets. This is just a small passage that brings you back to the forest. So, just so you know, you can open it from the inside of the castle. Now, if we go back up here... Uh, there is... Well, these were basically the puzzles that we could do. And actually, yeah, we can, can come up through here if you want to go to the back without having solved the puzzle. Basically, it's for this purpose, if you cannot figure out the pink puzzle. Anyway, let's keep on moving. And there's an octopus, I mean, down there, just aesthetics. Because uh, you can try and do a line with it, but nothing happens. Now, one of them going to... Well, spoil you a little bit, I mean, you can already figure out, you come here, you look, and it's kind of like, looks like a circle, but I can't really do it, and it seems like the ending is over here, well, you're going to have to send the boat over and wait for it to do this one, but we'll do it when we'll be doing the boat environmental puzzles, like, so there is another start, so, a lot of uh, environmental puzzles that require the boat for it. But right now we can do a few on our own if we actually take the proper way, which is through here, without the boat. Now, there are a total of three puzzles here. Come on, I need to find the proper angle. Here we go. One. And two. And if you keep turning, three. So you have three from up, and I believe you also have three from below with the boat, so... Or maybe from below it just makes one single continuous one, I don't remember, but... These three, if you are standing more or less in the center, you'll get to do them. Fairly easy. Now... I believe... There is another one here. Uh, if you stand correctly... Here we are more on the front of the boat. You can have a look here, but there isn't much, just a continuation of a very long boat uh, environmental puzzle with the ending that is here. There is the island where we were before. Now if we go up into the cabin, we can actually do a couple of them. Like so, there is one, and then you need to find the proper angle to start from this section. Maybe I need to yeah, go a bit more left, yes, so that you can continue. So there are two here, then don't just run away after having done one. Now here is, there is no exit, there is a recorder here that you can listen to. And... We are soon reaching one of the puzzles that has stumped most of the people around here and uh, it's quite funny because uh, it doesn't take me that long to actually solve. So you need to go to the lowest parts of the boat and here it is. And one of the things you'll notice is that you have different colors for the hexagons and different sizes. Now the different sizes we know from the jungle area, maybe in part three or four it has been. I don't, yeah, I don't recall. Maybe I think it might have been part three or four. The different sized uh, hexagons mean notes, sound, what we are hearing, the boat squeaking, the water droplets. Those are our notes. So we need to listen very carefully because like this one. Mm -hmm. 
so this started low and then went up you know so this I'd say would be the pink and now if we hear the click blocks seems like this was the orange one and and then do ding so it kind of seems like we need this we need the small one and we have oh, this is blocked why is it blocked oh yeah there's the parallel okay I forgot about that that's why it is blocked because there's another one that starts on both sides so we want to make sure that we are not colliding but taking along the right things so this should be here oh damn did I miss one uh, maybe it's because of the order I took them in or I might have just missed one because this no this one I'm catching it and then the other one should be here maybe I'm just doing this <laughs> oh I remember having done it quite easily and now I'm, I'm, I'm getting stumped I'll be back once I'm done so the reason why although you might have noticed that the pitch order is uh, low high medium high and then you have the medium low medium uh, you cannot separate them I mean you need to keep them happening at the same time so you want to happen it low and then you want uh, medium to happen and you want to catch the other lower again and then you want the high of the first note because you need to difficultly find out uh, that I missed now one you need to find out which one is who's out of these wings and and uh, drips and it's really not easy but we've found our fifth solution and just write it down again once we've done that uh, we can exit this area and um, I believe we might have done everything we needed um, it's uh, the rest we will just be doing with the boat but I believe that in part 8 we will actually go to town final thing we want to do is go check the pillar see how many of these secrets we have done oh, I don't want to go up I want to go the fastest way out of here which should be through here uh, if you get lost rewind the video and uh, it'll help you find your way back I'm uh, wondering if up here there is no environmental puzzle I don't think so I mean it's just to help you visualize a bit better but there's not much just a little platform so that I'm really exhaustive at showing you everything you might have it would have encountered in, um, in a single run where you would have been on your own now let's go left and check the pillar and after that we'll be all set for the town which is our last laser so here we go so we had already as you remember these six done here is one missing from the boat which is a very long one that we uh, from the wrecked ship which we do with the boat by going around it and these are all I believe um, environmental uh, puzzles that we will do with the boat one where we send it and the other one when we are inside the wreck and outside yeah it's going to be it's going to be a long way until we get it all but it'll happen now we're heading back towards town 
and I'll leave my video here on uh, how we did the castle and the shipwreck area. I hope you enjoyed it. I am Matt, I'm Lumi, Matt Lumi, call me how you prefer. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, click that button and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for the next episodes. See ya. Bye.